to console new name it stained glass make sure the height and width are both six inches click OK you have your canvas and now over on the right hand side of the layer palette I want you to click on create a new layer which we have just done so next I want you on the top of your ribbon to click on view and make sure that your rulers are turned on let's name this layer layer 1 let's change it to square 1 as a layer and press enter now we're going to click on the rectangular marquee tool which is here in the options area of the window make sure that you are set on fixed size so if you were previously on normal for your style or fixed ratio make sure it's now at fixed size and the fixed size you want is a width of 4 inches and a height of 4 inches once that is done you can move your cursor in line with the 1 inch symbol up here and in line with your inch symbol on the left hand side of your page also. Click on it and it enables you to center your square in the center of the canvas. So right now we have the marching ants line which is just pretty much like a construction line. It's not going to appear on a printed product. We want to make sure that there's a a line thickness there. In order to achieve that we have to click on edit and then on stroke. Make sure on stroke that you have a width of two pixels and the color is black. Once you say okay you, sh you realize that I now have a black square underneath the marching ants. The keyboard shortcut to deselect something is Control and D. So if I do that I'll deselect with the marching ants and there's our black square on the page right now. What we're going to do is in the layer palette right click on square one and duplicate this layer. We're going to make a copy of it. Duplicate. We're going to rename it to square two. And say OK. And you'll see on the layer palette over here now we have two layers. I'm going to now rotate the square 2. I'm going to hit Control and T. This edit box appears. I'm going to rotate it and I'm happy that it's quite even looking. I can press enter on my keyboard and then on the right hand layer right hand side I'm going to create a new layer up here and instead of layer 1 I'm going to call it lines press enter now I'm going to click on the custom shapes tool or the line tool you may notice that yours may appear as the custom shape originally and if you right click with your mouse you can find these different options I'm going to choose the line tool now up in the options area up here you want to make sure that you have the third one in from the left selected the fill pixels option and the line tool and basically what you're going to do from here is to join all the corners together if you'd like you can zoom in with the alt key which will help you be more accurate when you join your lines so this is the easiest part, it's quite like join the dots. What we're doing is picking each corner. I'm starting on the outside and I'm going to work my way in. this video now and replay once I join all the dots together. 
the outcome should be something like so. Again, I just paused the video to save, spare you from having to watch me join all the corners together. What I want you to do now is to, rather than having separate layers, I want to merge all these layers to make it all the same image. So I'm going to, as you can see, lines, the lines layer is currently highlighted. I'm going to hold down the control tab on my keyboard and with my mouse click on lines, square 2 and square 1. Next I'm going to right click with my mouse and I'm going to merge the layers. That merges them all together as one image now. And now we're just left with the last part where we're going to put some color onto our design. You can click on the paint bucket tool over here and then use the swatches layer up here to give your stained glass some different colors. So be sure to use at least four colors in your design. You're just coloring in your stained glass. Keep changing different colors for your design. Whatever you decide, it's totally up to you. And again, I'm just going to pause it here and let you see the outcome once I finish coloring all this. In. And then the outcome of all this lines and coloring in should be a nice stained glass design that you can color in whatever way you choose and whatever colors you choose. At the end just make sure you save it so you're going to click on file, save as and find the correct folder location for your classroom and click on save. 